Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. I'm in Barcelona and this is the first time that I'm going to repeat the guest that I had in the skate talk. And about two months ago, about two months ago I had a guest from Paris that lives in Barcelona which is the team manager for Seba, is also the main guy doing all the content for Seba and his name is Anthony Finocharro and I'm right here with Anthony Finocharro hola, hola. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been skating like for the last 3-4 hours we also got Mind Emmer from Germany which yep. is just making a phone call but we're outside in the streets of Barcelona I'm having a beer and he's having a cocoa water was that? <laughs> yeah, that was like a fruit juice something like that yeah. something and that's it so <laughs> the thing is if you like when we did the last skate talk we said that would be we would probably make a a part two so here we are it's my, i think it's yeah it's my second one the second time that i'm doing this but without making it through skype so let's hope that the sound is okay nice yeah let's uh, let's hope <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is i'm not gonna make you a question this is a skate talk so Okay, so you, skate talk, yeah. you make me a question, Ooh, you do whatever. I make you a question, yeah, okay, well, why not? Why not interviewing the main interviewer? <laughs> <laughs> why not? So, Mr. Lille, <laughs> Ricardo Lino, uh, living now in uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how is life? You got a new baby? Yes, I got a three month old baby. Damn it, how is it like to be a dad, uh, inline skater? Uh, full-time dad full-time skater how it's do you join uh, all together i saw your wife uh been back on skate or something no yes she well? skates and she's awesome like i couldn't i couldn't ask for a better wife the thing that it's, free, it's freaking me out now is because i have a baby it's not that i can't leave south africa is that you don't want to Yes, it's a lot harder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm here oh, and it's just like like it's a three months baby and yeah. it just feels like I'm missing things, you know, yeah. like the oh, first we, teeth are coming yeah. and I'm out for like ten days but it's it's kinda weird. But yeah, anyway. We totally understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she's awesome at pointing the middle finger. <laughs> I loved it about her. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Janice is like she's you you guys, both of you, you, you need to meet my wife that's all I can say oh, yeah? she's just like <laughs> I could never ask for I, I don't think I would I ever met anyone that I would think would make so much sense to be with me yeah. it's, it's just it's weird oh, man, she, she must be she must be tough to be with you no? yeah, she, she is but in a, in a, well, I mean, like, tough in a good way like it's just, yeah, yeah in a good way it's, yeah. it's sick it's like couldn't yeah, I don't know. I'm happy. That's all that matters. She, she was skating before you met her, or did you met? Before? No, she had skates before. Yeah. We never met through skating, but she okay. had skates before. That's awesome. That's good. Yeah. yeah, but now let's go to the Finch. <laughs> so we just we just came. We we were downhill. We were doing some kind of like downhill, not really like a proper downhill, but we're just going down from the. Is that the top of the mountain in Barcelona? Uh, no, there we, there is TB double as well. So this is like okay. mid. Mid class mountain. Okay, so we came from the top of Montjuic, like where <laughs> the stadium is, and yeah. we were just having some fun. And we might have some cool stuff coming in the next few days with, with Finch, <laughs> yeah. but I can't really tell you what it is. No. But before we <laughs> start. It's more than five wheels. It's more than five wheels. <laughs> and it's more than ten. <laughs> because even if it's five plus five, it's ten. Like, let's yeah. do the math. So. <laughs> no, the thing is. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> Good start. Maybe we do part three next time. <laughs> nah. Now the thing is, I know. Now that the video came out, no, no, now that the video game came out, the Honor Roll came out, we were talking about it before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now that Honor Roll came out, do you th what do you, how do you think that's going to, to influence skating, like in general? I, I hope. Um, I start seeing people that doesn't know much about blading or doesn't skate uh, being like interested to see a game coming out you know like on any platform which is cool so uh, I see like random people getting into playing the game and maybe like watching more and then uh, maybe they will hand it up on YouTube watching more skating and stuff like that so it's a plus for sure anything that comes uh, into skating 
will will be a plus anyway you know just to 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 get into it so uh, uh, video games it's cool yeah because today like the video game industry i don't know if you know but it's bigger than cinema for example in the u.s like the the cinema industry start to be like uh, smaller than uh, than the gaming industry i believe so that gaming is a huge thing you know because you can now you can game on so much stuff like on, on cell phones and on computer and uh, fucking xbox playstation so so everyone like still game all the time so um, i hope that um, people would see the, the, the crowdfunding had a huge success so uh, I know that many people has interest into the game so how much money did they make with the crowdfunding Do I you think have they make like uh, more than 100, 150k something really? like that yeah That's I think sick. so no? it, it's, yeah. it's cool because I do know that the biggest YouTubers yeah. the biggest guys on YouTube they all are with gaming they all have like gaming in their channels it's just oh yeah it yeah. is true oh yeah yeah the most and then YouTube it's like channel, we yeah. and then yeah, we true. all know that TV and cinema is going down we're like yeah. that's nowadays, exactly what like, I'm talking about yeah now we have like a new we are in a new era where like TV is useless because like I personally don't own a TV yeah, I, I, I have, I have, a, I have a TV a, device but yeah. my TV device is connected YouTube. Yeah, yeah it's connected to Apple TV I yeah. have Netflix I choose Netflix, whatever I want yeah. and, uh, and I got yeah, YouTube I too, and that's yeah. it Today I'm like I have my la my laptop and I watch Netflix or I spend like at least two hours a day on YouTube, which yeah. is like I don't know I don't own TV and I would never like spend two hours watching TV but I spend two hours watching YouTube shit. Yeah, I think I told you the last time that we spoke. I don't know if you knew me that and never like the average time per American watching YouTube it's around four hours yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's per insane. day yeah, it's so it's basically what TV used to be yeah yeah it's exactly it's, that yeah. it's yeah the thing is like if you think of people like if you sleep like in between six and eight hours if you work for like eight hours that's the rest almost the rest yeah. of the day yeah like when you're not driving or you're not going in public transport or whatever what, you, what, you, what, what do you mean like people have no life yeah that's true man <laughs> it's not about <laughs> having no life it's just like but you, you're having life through the life of the other by watching life of the other yeah it is but, but it's stuff, the, the, the truth it's is it's sad but it's true the thing is it's kind of like all these vlogs all these people making mm -hmm. different even my stuff I'm not it's kind of like a the big brother yeah and people want to know what's happening next oh, I, exactly I, yeah, yeah I, tr I try not to make my videos about just what's happening with my life I yeah, try to make it more like life. skating yeah, and yeah. all that stuff like like tutorials a little bit of everything yeah. I was talking with Min about it how I try to put like different content like related to skating yeah. and I try to there is good uh, example from uh, other disciplines like BMX for example they have Scotty Kramer Yeah. He's making every every day a BMX video and he's not filming like his life personally it's unless scary. he's filming his like uh, last accident and all the thing he have to go through to come back to bike. Yeah. So he's filming his like recovering part and stuff but I mean the rest of the video is like every single day is daily vlogs and it's all about bike and he reached up he reached up uh, 1 million subscribers recently. I know, I and saw it's that. It's only like BMX content every single day BMX tricks content mm -hmm. on YouTube he's got like 1 million subscribers it's, man it's, it's let huge. me tell you when I started my YouTube I looked at your YouTube and I saw that you made a few videos mm -hmm. and back then I don't know you had like two or 300 subscribers something yeah, like that yeah, and I, I thought like I had like 20 I was like damn it he's <laughs> going great he's doing so good that's what <laughs> I thought and right <laughs> now I look at my channel I, had, I have almost 7,000 people oh, subscribing to that thing nice. and I think like Fuck, 7,000 people. I'm sorry about the fuck. 7,000 <laughs> 7, people is just like... It's bigger than some stadiums, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, of course, yeah. And it's organic, you know, like the... the it's seven good good people, you know, like people that wants to see it, you know. It's not like just... You, yeah, I'm, you pay I'm, advertisement to get those people and they're from fucking Jakarta or somewhere like random you know? no 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 there's but, people but you know organic what? you know like but I do have people shit, so. so let me tell you something through this if you don't know now you're gonna know so through this YouTube thing 
A few days ago, I was kind of frustrated because I couldn't go to the Berlin Marathon mm -hmm. and I didn't make the registration. It's dumb from oh, my you're not side. Going Wait, I'm going okay. to Berlin. I just bought my tickets today with me. Okay. And I, man, of course I should know that you need to make a registration, but I do not do running marathons or anything <laughs> like that and I used to do marathons but I used to do marathons as an inline skater for a club oh, so yeah. usually you have someone the clubs, from the yeah. club the that geography. do it for you yeah, yeah. so I had no idea Damn so it, bro, like, did no, 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 you on that no 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 you know, I, d I didn't even tell them that I wanted to do it or anything <laughs> like that what did happen was I made a video after having the, the skate talk with with Niels yeah I got an email from Mirek from Eden Skate yeah. and Eden and Mirek told me I don't know if you know, but registration is closed. And we, <laughs> that's me opening a beer, sorry. And we might not be... That's, that's me. me no, open <laughs> and I thought like, damn it, what am I going to do? My, like, I, I, I send them an email right away to the... To the, the power, no, 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 to, to the power slide main guy on, oh, yeah. on speed, which is Scott. And Scott told me like, it's... There's more people that try to do it and it's not possible. I can send an, a message and all that, but I don't think it's going to be it's going to be possible because they close the registration for everyone. It doesn't yeah. matter who you are. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought like let me make a video and see how this goes. And mm. I made a video and like a lot of people shared it. And yesterday I got a comment on one of my videos saying I might be able to help you because I had like an accident. It's this guy Sam from Indonesia. Oh, he said Jakarta. That's what I'm saying. So he sent me a message saying I had, a, I had an accident. I had stitches on my knee and I won't be able to make it. Uh, I would love to give you my registration. So I told him like, please send me an email. And he sent me an email yesterday and now we're in contact through WhatsApp. We, I'm going to meet him on Friday at the Power Slide booth. And it's just, it's sick. I would, all the sick, man. You're going to wear the Indonesian flags or what? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be Indonesian because I'm going, I'm going to need to go with You're his name. You're going to be Sam. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to be Sam. But the, the cool thing about this is like, I Man. hope he's not small like me if you have to wear his shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, like you don't need to wear anything, do you? Oh, like Lycra, man. Oh, yeah, man, like Velocity. No, no, I got on. this. By the way, you can't see it, but I got this short. Yeah, this amazing like, short. Say, 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 no, no, you don't know what that like, is. Man. So, when Running I stopped... Shit. No, let me tell you. When I stopped in Dubai, there was this guy, Omar. Like, seriously, the best dude ever. I met him the first time I was in Dubai at 6 in the morning. <laughs> I came out of the airport and I was skating at 6 in the morning and I met a guy in that electric electric skateboard, like the boosted board. Yeah. And we started talking and whatever, like we changed contacts. I was about to skate to the park and he told me like, no, nah, you're not going to be able to skate. It's like, it's going to be 35 degrees, even if it's 7 in the morning now. <laughs> you won't be able to skate there. So I'll give you a ride. And he gave me a ride and we changed connect contacts and all that. And he started being in contact with me. Yeah. So. Two days ago, when I was coming to Barcelona, I stopped in Dubai. This guy picked me up at the airport, took me to ski, took me to the top of the, really? the highest tower in Dubai. And I wanted to buy a shirt. And I went to buy a shirt and then I was like, yeah, I want to buy some shorts. And in the end, he didn't let me pay. He paid for my shorts and my shirt. What? It's, it's Man, he didn't let me. He told me, like, as someone from Dubai, I cannot... I cannot let you pay for anything while you're here. And it's like, it's it Should weird. have bought a cow, man. <laughs> no, man. no, it's just, okay. man, it, it's really, really weird. But the truth is, so basically I went and I bought some shorts that I thought was just like some shorts with a yellow lining on the inside. <laughs> Yesterday, when I was at Min's house, I put them in and I was like, damn it, they have a Lycra shirt. <laughs> they have some Lycra <laughs> shorts on the inside. So I'm, I'm using Lycra. He's not wearing undies. <laughs> Uh, but, I, but I still you're fart. You're gonna start loving this shit. This shit. Yeah, you still fart. We, we, we know that. <laughs> That's Jesus on a skateboard. And dogs don't like See? skateboards. Dogs don't like skateboards. But <laughs> we've been here on skates and they love it. Yeah, <laughs> so, Min, if you had to make a question to Finch, what would you ask? Why you're so awesome? What? No, come on. no let me tell you. So, this is important. You, I But, think you're too humble. I mean, you're more awesome than I do. This guy is I mean, amazing. Me, amazing. is amazing. Yeah. And, and I'm. I, I no, just. So I cut you off, right? So, seriously, um, when you were talking earlier, I told him, like, in 20 years, you're probably one of the top six persons I've ever. Ever you said top five wheels. before. Top five. Yeah, on wheels. Really? Really. Oh like, man, I appreciate so yeah, much. Thank you. <laughs> that little guy <laughs> with the maximum amount of control. 
Thank so you, small, <laughs> flying through the air like a bomb. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, you know, seriously, you really have to see it in person to. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate. It. Experience but it. You it's do too, crazy. Man. Like it's people crazy. don't know you, but maybe don't know you more much about you as well. You have to experience me to be uh, to be uh, to be uh, in. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, you see, <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw a post of you yesterday saying Min is my new favorite skater. And did you saw yeah. the vlog? Man, uh, yeah, uh, no, no, yet. Watch no, it. Because yeah, 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 it's, it, yeah. it's just this guy. Like, yeah, I know this guy now, so like, to see in person, like, do just two, three moves. It's like, it's like one of the wizard. We, we should, like, create a wizard, like, team with, so, with like, Min, Leon, some of the best skater because, like, we have, like, some... I wouldn't call him a wizard. He's just, like, he someone, wizard. like, so the thing is, someone, <laughs> someone on the video commented, like, Min is a true city skater, and it's the truth. Yeah. The truth is, like, the amount of control that he has on skates for anyone listening to this, it's it's seriously amazing. He's just, he just goes full speed, and then suddenly, without needing more than two, three meters, the way he stops. But it's not just... It's not about doing a slide, it's yeah. it's the way it does it. Yeah. And it's not even about the slides also, it's just like the way... I, I was filming Min today, just going through people, and we went up and down the same road like six times, yeah. right? Yeah. Until the police stops us, we did it like <laughs> six times. And we wanted to do more, because since I got here, he just told me, we need to go to that place, because yeah. the tar is amazing, the amount of people, the, the inclination or the... How do you say it? Inclination? Yeah, yeah. the inclination the, of, the yeah, yeah. of the hill. It's just like the whole thing was just sick. And I was just filming him and, and he was starting... Sometimes it starts feeling bad because when you're filming, you know, sometimes you feel like bad for the guy filming you because you think you're taking too long. Exactly. But for me to film this guy, it, it feels like... I'm, I feel honored <laughs> to be able to film him. And he doesn't get it sometimes, but <laughs> it's just like... I would do it like it doesn't matter until the battery dies or the card is <laughs> full and you have no way to yeah, to put to another card. Yeah. It's just I would keep doing it. So yeah, no. But to describe that style in a nutshell, it's not about top speed or speed in general. It's about fluidly going between acceleration and deceleration, yeah. as well as fluidly going between carves, slides pushes drifts yeah and enjoying every single thing that you can cross everything is a is like a jump or like a bump or a scratch on the on the on the bottom i mean is you have to go like the best skater i know is the people that enjoy skating and just like can skate anything you know because like anything could be skated and yeah. then when you start like going outside the skate park and then really skating because you love skating you are like you're becoming, true skater you true skater and that effect on your skating man if you want to be better skater you have to go outside the zone you know like outside the skate park and start riding anything anywhere you know like on the shit concrete on the off-road anything you know yeah it is and start playing with like everything and more important like, just like how I you know started. many tr many uh, skaters are like going to a spot to skate and between any spot the taking of the skate you know damn it it's like most of the slalom skaters I know they are like they practice in the gymnasium or they have their own spot but they don't go there by skate they go there by car you did an amazing thing right now can I interrupt you of I'm course. sorry guys I know that you hate <laughs> me for that but I'm sorry you can switch no, it off I if you don't like it the thing, is, anyway. the thing is the thing is I do anyway the thing is I forgot no I, <laughs> <laughs> no I didn't I know what I was going to say so the thing is I've seen like amazing uh, like seriously amazing slalom skaters there's this guy from Italy his name is Lora Lorenzo Lorenzo, uh, Lorenzo uh, Guzlandi yeah. he is the guy that I ever saw in the whole world with the most amount it doesn't matter if he rides for power mm -hmm. slide whatever he is Lorenzo the guy is, is yeah. he is the guy that I I've seen with the most amazing control on inline skates that I've ever seen but you know what frustrates me it's like he does all those things flat yeah. and then I think could you jump into a ledge like two or three meters, like no, two or three, like 20 or 30 centimeters and do it on top of a ledge? Because if he does that, like integrating street obstacles, yeah. like you, I, I know I, you did a video like that with that Russian guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, you could see it like sometimes when he was landing, he was like, of not course, a true he's not street true skater. But that's, yeah. no, it's not about being an aggressive yeah. skater. You, 
what we did today, yeah. you were not an aggressive skater. Like you are with three skate, three wheel yeah, skates. True. You were just skating the other. But the amount of control that you have and the way that you use the street obstacles is just completely different. That's what I'm saying. Like sometimes it's just like you said. Sometimes all you need is if you to all the slalom skaters listening to this, don't hate me right now. <laughs> it's like, why do you need? to go by car somewhere when you can go on skates and I'm talking against myself because a lot of times I take a scooter to go to place instead of yeah, skating yeah, but I'm not trying training for, for no, years but I, I'm not trying to be better at something mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. I do my thing and sometimes it's the only time that I, I can, have I can, that. I can like sort of understand you know it's like most of slalom skater or like uh, hockey skater for example like people that mostly skate uh, in the indoor place They are like doing that activity like you do tennis or stuff like that, you know. You can't you don't go with your like tennis racket and play on the way, you know. You, know, but you go to a place and then you play tennis on the proper place. And those people like that amazed me because those guys are so much more controlled than us on one wheels, for example, as you said, Guslandi is a good example. I but I saw him doing some skate cross sometimes, so he's been trying skate parks as well. He's uh, he's been he has been trained by uh, my good friend uh, Tiziano Ferrari, mm -hmm. and uh, but the amount of hours they are spending uh, exercising on slalom does n not let us uh, doing uh, more than just uh, slalom skating. But the That's question the that I make you uh, about that, and it's I like know. most of the flat BMX rider are doing the same you know they don't street skate they don't street ride as well and they don't not really skate that's not true then not all you, of them, you tell me the there's people. the there's this french guy you know him Mathias Dandois. Yes. Yeah. Mathias why 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 he is why Mathias is he why, why is, is Mathias and one of the best yeah, because he's street as well. the most respected ones yeah. so what i'm trying to say here is don't you think all of them like seriously yeah. all of them don't you think the, their skills would improve If Definitely. There yeah, if there would be a little bit more of, you know, you know what I want to say. Like, uh, for example, I ride flat BMX as well. And the other day, I was, I just passed the, through the city skating on Friday night with my bike, and then uh, I like uh, inline skaters stopped me and they were, oh Finch, what, what you do on your bike and stuff? Why you ride BMX? That's the first question they asked me. I was like, why not? And then they they, they kept asking me like, why you ride BMXs? And I was like, listen, guy, yeah, I'm going to try to explain you something like uh, it can only make you a better inline skater by being open mind and trying something else. You know, that's just something like that, that just works with everything in life. So people that like freak out because you're doing something else, it's like they are stupid because you're close mind. That's why like most of the aggressive skaters have been like uh, that's why they much. Uh, into into just one thing for many years and like the, they are not uh, evolving you know that's why they're limited and yeah. that's why the pro exactly. life that's lasts limitation that's why life. the pro life lasts can I give you an example in skateboarding yeah, yeah. do you know what, who Mark Gonzalez is oh yeah, yeah why is Mark Gonzalez so awesome because it doesn't give a shit yeah. about anyone and does whatever he exactly. wants and that's you know Mark Gonzalez yeah. yeah Mark Gonzalez is like seriously one of the most inspiring things ever he, seriously probably he might hate on inline skates I don't know and, <laughs> I'm just, and I'm just saying good stuff about him it doesn't matter what I'm trying to <laughs> yeah, say here is he is like he looks at skateboarding he's like an artist and the way he looks at skateboarding is like his own way of doing art it doesn't matter what what color or what type of paint he yeah. has which what what type of skateboard he has or wheels or a bicycle a mountain bike a bmx or whatever he has fun and that's why i keep saying on the end of every single video that i do i keep saying the same let's not forget why we all started because it's fun and it's the truth exactly. i'm pretty sure that all of us no when you started yeah Even if you were scared, you had a stupid smile on your face. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> it definitely. is, it is the truth. And you man. know, and you know, you like know the, 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 truth, good, the good fact about like being able to do something else is, is exactly one of the topic, one of the, the the important thing is when you start losing fun. It's not a crime to go and try something else and then come back later to to bleeding, for example. So you can go bike at some point and then come back. You did it. I yeah. did, did it. it. You know, when Completely. I see myself. 
doing like uh, spending hours on BMX and then skating less sometimes I just feel like yeah but it has been done already like I look at you that now you're like back on skate the first time I met you the first time I really like, met yeah. I really met you yeah. I was on a bike so well, let me tell you this man yeah. I went to Paris for like a yeah. uh, bike event and I was riding through the city and then there's this guy yeah. came to me In and like yeah. hey Lino what's up and I was like Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was in Bercy. Yeah, that was that. crazy. And that day I met Jeremy Jimenez. And yeah, he, exactly. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, we were filming with Jeremy that day. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. It was crazy. Yeah. And you said it's getting some... You were not skating with Sebas yet? At uh, that time, no. Not no? Yet, no. no. You, but you had some yellow skates. Some skates yeah, with some yellow. Yellow skates. Some At skates with yellow parts. Really? Ah. Some skates that had some yellow parts. I think. Probably, yeah. You had free skates? I had free skates, but they were Seba. Then. Okay, but you were not working for Seba. Because if you, by that time, or maybe it was. Because before that, you were in Portugal. I just didn't match you. You were in Bruno in Portugal, right? Oh, then I was... With, uh, you were in Nimes or something like that. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. One question. With what you know now... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, probably not. It doesn't even make sense, this question. I don't know. <laughs> send no, Nim. Skating for Nim. Yeah. Oh. Did you ever get contact with with Brian or it was always through BMAC? Uh, with Shima? No, I had few contacts with Shima, yeah, but not much, yeah. Like, my main contact was, uh, was uh, what's his name, Michael Beer from BMAC. Yeah, BMAC, that's why yeah, I asked So, uh, like, to get skate and stuff like that, I was going through. Uh, but even Nim, like, he... I think I don't even know if uh, I mean, Shima was doing anything like for promoting or whatever. You know, I think he, he had people to do it for him because I never really talked to him to make like he came once to Paris and we filmed and stuff with him. Uh, yeah, we filmed with him and stuff. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, there was like he was just filming himself with Montre. And that's it. Yeah, I don't know. No much contact. Wait, wait, wait. There's something yeah. happening. No, that's fine. That's okay, fine. okay. He doesn't want to talk. <laughs> By the way, let me just make you a question, Min. Yeah. Who's your favorite skater of all times? Because, uh, wait. Let's for some, for some, let me interrupt you. Yeah. Sorry. It ate on me again. Anyway, <laughs> for all of you who don't know, so Min has been skating for way too long. I was talking the other day about going to the Lausanne contest in 98 and he just told me, yeah, but I was there in 97, 98 and then 99. And, and 96 was, too. Yeah, 96. And he was there with 11 or with 10 years old with his exactly. father. So it was his father, yeah? No. With who? Without parents, just with friends. Anyway. Going with, there in 96, age 11. Age 11 with friends. That's me. Anyway, this guy is the... I wouldn't say the yeah pro, yeah I will use the word is the geekiest guy when it comes to skate if that makes sense like <laughs> he knows seriously everything I, you might not have him on Facebook but like every now and then Min does a comment which is just a little print screen from an old video <laughs> that you'll be like where I saw this somewhere I don't know what it is yeah. but the he knows ball. everything like you know that groomer that knew everything but. It, this groomer just happens to be one of the best skaters that I've ever seen. <laughs> so, who is your favorite inline skater? <laughs> no, it's not possible to tell. You have to split it up into... You talk <laughs> into, a lot. Into decades. You, you talk a lot about TJ Weber. Exactly. So, oh, you have to split Weber it up into decades. Weber. No, no, there's no... no. So, let's, 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 let's take the 90s, for example. Like, that's the obvious people, right? Yeah. It's Randy, Roadhouse. It's TJ... All of course. Did you like Mad Mans? No, never liked him. I'm sorry to say, never liked Mad Mans at all. Why? <sighs> like, good skills, awesome skating, but never dig the style, to be honest. No, let I'm, me, so, let, I'm, let, I'm let, really sorry. No, let's, not bad talking, that's just <laughs> personal taste. I used to love Mad Mans, but let's talk about skating I'm technique. I'm sorry for like, you. <laughs> the, no, it's all good. Now that the three of us that are here, the yeah. three of us have an idea of what skate technique should be and how you can use the inner edge and outside edge and all that and back then yeah. Maddie Mans was doing something I'm not saying it's a good technique it's actually not a good technique but the truth is because he wanted to have a better push and you couldn't do like a, 
a, a double push. You couldn't go on the outside edge on the K2s with those 56 <laughs> millimeter heavy wheels. Yeah. What he was doing was he was. By the way, yeah, heavy wheels. Yeah, yeah. he was lifting the front wheel. Yeah. Keeping yeah, the heel the, up, uh, keep it, keeping the heel, yeah. and then spinning it like 30 degrees, yeah. and then pushing it. And every stride that he was doing was you like You know, this. there used to be a, K, a K2 trend, <laughs> because when I used to ride K2, I was doing the exact same move. Yeah. You should do it with Actually. the tricycles. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. But that, that reminds me like seriously. more aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, seriously, it's like the Majestics. Zamora, Zamora was doing the same as Majestics, well. Tarmacs, all of those things <laughs> had a heel lift, but yeah. Fetties didn't. So the first time you stepped into Fetties, you almost felt like falling back <laughs> but that helped me a lot because back yeah. then even with fetties I could go low and now I don't know if my ass got heavier but I just <laughs> <laughs> when I go low I fall on my back <laughs> oh, but by the way I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about mm. many mans going on those weird pushes fast as fuck that was sick. turning fakey right before the fun box mm. and doing a fakey 720 yeah. Yes! And, no, no, no. <laughs> Talking about K2s! <laughs> Seriously, I don't know if I've ever talked in any of these things about this, but the best trick that I've seen on a, maybe a fun box, it was in 96, the first X Games, Ryan Jackson. The clone 540. Yeah. No, no, no! Fakey 7 Rocket! You, no way. Yeah, you never saw that shit. Wait, wait, no, wait. Those wait, the very wait. first X Games where the brands were colored. Yeah, Ryan Jacklin yeah. did fakey seven rocket again. with with some <laughs> wings on his helmet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Send me the yes. clip later. No, that's it's on it. Google. I just don't have yeah? my phone here. Oh, right, let's check that later. Google it. <laughs> yeah, Jacklin used to be my, my hero back then. Yeah. Jacklin. Your wheels suck. <laughs> <laughs> Seven of ours. <laughs> Your wheels <real> suck. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's sick. Yeah, like the the brand company was FR. What does FR, FR means yeah, for yeah. Seven? Uh, fuck rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> because it's still landscaping. But still, no. What what is it called? FR. It's like French. Is it? Yeah. FR. Or free skates? No, no, you can you can you free can, rolling. Yeah, you can use like freestyle rolling. rolling. Yeah. Freestyle free rolling. Be unique, yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Future, future rollerblader. No, no, no. Rollerblading. No, no. Seriously, now we're going back in time. I used to love Be Unique. I was never. Like, they used to skate in a way that I could never skate because I'm lazy to jump. So basically, <laughs> everything that was like a, a mellow rail, <laughs> I would only get in the mellow rail in three or four tricks, which is like. It was like, a, or a back full torque, or a front full torque, or a back, or a royal, or... Yeah. And then from then, I could do everything else. And that's kind of like what they used to do, like getting in, like, into the rail in a you simple know, I'm going to talk trash, but, like, the, that's funny because I watched this video again recently. And that's funny how, how crazy I was from, for this video when, I, when, uh, when it first came out. Which like, one? There was a lot I of I mean, them. like the future, the, 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 yeah, the first one, I guess, no? Yeah, the like, first uh, one, the main one. Yeah, and the main skater in the video, I used to like them, and it's crazy, or today, like the, the only that still skates, I'm like, whoa, the, the, the change, it's so big, and yeah, I don't know, I don't like it, I don't like it like yeah. it anymore yeah, I agree. you know you know like, who was the I, best guy let me but tell it you used this. to be like they used who to be was really the coolest good guy in the video and the, the only guy that was cool in the video doesn't skate anymore who was it okay but I, I don't want to give any name but like the the, the guys that still no, skate there was one video. guy that was amazing that died yeah who alex nunez yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's exactly alex nunez yeah, was alex amazing nunez it's was not best, my yeah. style of skating no, 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 but no. he was amazingly that's, skilled that's exactly what i was talking about like yeah. The, the, yeah. the one that doesn't skate anymore like alex nunez no alex nunez best, is like yeah. he was amazingly skilled all the kelsos like yeah. both kelsos was amazing too oh, kelsos was yeah. Yeah. yeah even gonzo was sick too gonzo was sick yeah. i love gonzo skating yeah. gonzo is gonzo but <laughs> but but from <laughs> all these guys yeah. from everyone that ever have anything to do would be unique the coolest guy that i've ever seen using a be unique shirt was the most unexpected one Which it's one? in clip four only short well he, when he was in portugal only short with tight pants and all that weird i, I love ollie ollie's one of he was one of my best friends and he's like who Oli Short. Oh, Oli Short, yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah. Oli Short in clip four is skating with a B unique shirt. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> yeah. seriously, that was 
for me that was the top <laughs> moment the for Bionic. The only one that is not gangsta. You, know, <laughs> you, you would never... That's when Oli was on <laughs> top of the game when you would never... I miss, I miss Oli, man. I miss Oli Shaw. Yeah, I mean, uh, I so, miss Oli Shaw. Let me tell you something. Last year... No. I'm lying. Two and a half years ago. I just... It's hard to get time. When I first started getting into roller skating again... Uh-huh. The day... I put in a video that... Maybe a little bit more. The first time that I got my roller skates, the Toto plates, yeah. I did like some weird shit. I didn't even know that it was possible. I started doing like back slides and back savannas and stuff. And that exact day that I posted that video, I got a message from someone with a weird name on Facebook and it was Holly. And we got in contact. He told me a little bit about him and like what we was going through, which is, I love Holly. Yeah. I still have his driving license from like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. He forgot it in Madrid yeah. and I got him I got it in Portugal. Yeah. And, and and we've been we used to be like really good friends and I just don't know all I haven't seen Oli in a long time. But after that I haven't been in contact with him that much and when I started doing these skate talks, he was one of the first guys that I tried to get on board. And I'm sending him a message, but I don't think he uses Facebook that much. So I would love to go to London just to meet Oli and do one of these things, but sitting in a pub with him and do it. <laughs> so probably that's one of those things. So Oli for me was one of the most awesome skate, awesome skaters, seriously, yeah, ever. He it changes, it changed the way, seriously, if there's one person that I believe that changed the way that people skate, That yeah. was Oli Short. Yeah, he used one of to the be. most influential guys yeah. on inline skating was Oli Short. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite skater? Finch. Who's my? Yeah, I think I would go like Min by the decade because <laughs> like he changed every year. Uh, Fuck every, that. Yeah, no, no. Seriously, like it's really hard to pick just one, like because yeah, it's like when people are talking today, like yeah, you should put this guy on the video I game, you know, and they are talking about. People that used to skate 25 top years three, ago, you know? top three forever since no, it's day not, one. No, it's impossible. It's, it's not, not possible. possible. Yeah. I, have, I, have a top, I have a top three. Don't get me wrong, like, I love I have every a top three. possible decade of rollerblading. Fuck, I don't have a top three. I, I have a top four. Yeah. I, I wanted to say <laughs> top three, but I have a top I four. I would go for the 90s, I would say Ivano back in the day. Yeah. In Switzerland. Sick! Yeah. Ivano was sick. Ivano, yeah. Ivano was it just more Ivano, than aggressive. Ivano, Ivano, ah. Ivano skated everything, yeah. and downhill he was the yeah. best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't the best. You know, Ahead like of a no, no, no. skater in He was, you know, he made people But change the way they downhill, yeah, and yeah, he made yeah. because he was doing everything. Yeah. He's a complete skater. He used to be a complete skater with like the shittiest skate you could ever find. He was like buying skate with the brake that he had to cut in no, on the back. You know, huh? He wasn't buying it. He was skating for rushes. No, yeah, yeah, but the skates he got are uh, like uh, uh, plastic brake attached to it, and he had to fucking cut, cut it. it. Yeah, yeah, to but sadly, those. sadly enough, like uh, except for hoax, except for hoax three, maybe yeah. he never really didn't get international exposure. No, why? Because Europeans tend. In the, at least in the past, they tend to always yeah. think that everything that come from, came from America was better. Which I don't have anything against <laughs> Americans, but Portugal, uh, but Portugal, but, Euro, but Europeans European. always tend to think that everything that yeah. came from American was better. I agree, but in that because case, because they had strong marketing and shit already back then. But in that case, like Ivano's always been a soul skater, quote yeah. unquote. Yeah. So he didn't give a fuck about exposure. Yeah, yeah, he was the best. Yeah. he was That's like really thing, like, good. At that time, my, my favorite skater back then was an American guy. When I was kids, it was uh, Jean Jean Chanet. Yeah, uh, oh, Jean Jean Chanet was skating yeah. like about a month or two ago yeah. in the, ska in oh, the skate park from Winter Clash. Yeah, yeah, he's still skate man. I, yeah, I, I saw skate the video. with him like many years. Like uh, so, my top four I skaters. I still talk to him sometimes. He's a good friend of Potier. He's, he's an amazing dad. He's got lovely kids. He's That's doing sick. like demos, uh, skating demos and stuff like that. He's an amazing human being. That's I love sick. this guy, and uh, and it's crazy because Jean Jean, Ivano. I would say even Wilfried Rossignol. Uh, What's up with Wilfred? Bruno Lover, like all this guy. What's up like, with Wilfred? What's up with Wilfred? I don't know. Um, Wilfried, I think. Wilfried, I think that's kind of the guy that could make a comeback whenever he wants. Yeah, he's still skating for Fila. He's just like, he's just don't want to. 
it's just too 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 late. He tried to make a comeback once, but I think he's not like into it anymore. You know, he's doing his thing. He have his jobs and stuff. What so. does he do? He's working. Last time, last update when I saw him like two years ago in Paris, he was still uh, working as a working for a camera company that set up a GoPro GoPro into racing track or stuff like this. You know, like they are selling um, GoPro footage of people that drive uh, in the racetrack, you know, some stuff like this with smart boxes. And so it's related with media and stuff like that? Yeah, media, yeah. Okay, so going back. So my, my favorite like top skaters ever. But I, I didn't finish, sorry. Okay, go for it, go for it. <laughs> yeah, I was... No, it's a style to cut people off. Yeah, yeah that's my style, I'm sorry guys. Motherfucker. Let me just give some name because I really want... Give a name. Ali, I would say uh, I would say Ivano in the 90s in the 2000s I, I used to love Pianoski really so much and Dominic Wagner yeah and uh, Wagner was like I was really fan of Wagner he's a really good skater why didn't you ever got him on, on Seba ah I uh, yeah why not I don't know he's, he's someone humble he was skating for Rams he fit it really well and then after yeah we could have but I don't know, like, well, I, I make him try the, the frame, the Seba frame once, and then, yeah, I don't know, it's just, uh, no, it never happened, but it could have happened, maybe one day, we never know. You never know? <laughs> we never know, but, uh, but he's a sick guy, he's sick, he's really a good skater, and uh, I used to to watch uh, his section before to go to skate, a really motivating skater. Which which section? Uh, I loved the, the one, uh, initial section, with the music, French music yeah. and stuff, that was like... He's got two sections in that video. Like uh, the second part was like super fast, and he was doing lines and lines. That's what I liked it from him, you know. I was watching uh, his video because when he was going to street, he wasn't the best technical skater, like me, for example. But he was always like uh, linking uh, tricks on the on sp any spot, you know. He was always like trying to find a way to link uh, tricks in the spot and making a full line which I really liked it all the time in any video he was like doing lines it was super good Shows consistency. mixing uh, mixing like ball riding skate parks and and street and uh, I really liked it that yeah because like all the other video was like mostly boring American video to me it's boring you know because it's always filming with a white fish eye a loaf on the ground and then it's only like technical tricks and and short rails or stuff like that, you know, so I don't know. I'm, I've never been like a huge uh, fan of like that type of filming, but more like lines and, and sick tricks. So anyway, you? I, yeah, would, but uh, I would just add uh, in the last decade, uh, ah, it's really hard now, picking up a skater lately. Uh, Fuck, my list just came from four yeah. to five. I can't choose one. And it's like a, a minimum if of If you five. have to pick, the, yeah, that's a good question. Who today? One. Like someone that for stayed no, for less than five years. For one from that skates from from less than five yeah. years or that is known from less than five? None, yeah. No, no that's for Anthony less. for sure. Who? Anthony. But yeah, he yeah. skated for more, but yeah. They're yeah, known for. Known for, yeah. I know for I know him for more than five years, but yeah, you. Eugen and in but Potier is yeah. Eugen no. for sure. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty awful. Fred Bukowski. <laughs> what? Fred Bukowski. Fred. Top. Fred is a but top my top player. five is let me let me tell yeah. my top five. Brian Schieber. It's it, it used to be and I can never delete that from me. Fender. Brian Schieber. <laughs> no, not even. Brian no. Schieber. John Elliott. Those two and I still don't get. Oh, I, di I didn't say sorry. I catch you. I do your stuff. Fucking Sagona, man. Yeah, yeah. I, the, 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 the thing that that like Sagona, if you listen to that man, Dominic, my man, if you ever like been a wreck skater, like partially free skater best. on the side, he would have been the best skater ever. You can I mean, be. like the best free skater, uh, the best stylish free skater ever. How Imagine did he do that? Back then. How did he do that with yeah. 60, oh no, God. not 60, 58 or 59. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wheels. Yeah. I don't know how he did that, know, that yeah. style with those top, with but those anti At that moment when he was like uh, on the, the best video uh, I like for me, I uh, like for him is the uh, second regime video. Yeah. If he would have been a reg skater back then, fuck, I would have been like a fucking fan, a ninja. But 
white ninja on skate. <laughs> white ninja. <laughs> Speaking of the early to mid 2000s, <laughs> for some reason I'll name like I nail I'll name three names, and for some reason it's all the same boot. It's Jochen Smuda oh, yeah. in Salomons. Yeah. It's Chris Farmer in Salomons, and it's Matthias Auger in Salomons. Those are my picks for the early to mid 2000s. I'll go to Salomons after. Let yeah. me finish my top five. <laughs> top five: Brian Shima, John Elliott, Billy O'Neill, Friedolin Elbow, and Oli Short. That's my top five since yeah, Billy. Since, since a Billy. long time. Like Billy O'Neill used mm. to be like a really. Like one of my favorite skaters, but that last video part, the one, the last one he did, yeah. when he did that gap to soul in that staple sledge in, L in LA. Oh, Billy is a good example. That, of that just be unique guy I used to like. Th um, that just made me like, uh, what the flying thing to fuck yeah. does he has in mind? Seriously, I yeah. didn't get it. And then Fridolin, I remember seeing it was. It was um, Fabrice, Fabrice, Fabrice Guillon. Guillon yeah. Fabrice Guillon, he used to be a really good friend of mine. Yeah. Actually, the first day that Fabrice went to US, I was with, I was staying with Busta, and it stayed with me at Busta's place. Yeah. And now he's living in the US for like a few years. Anyway. In LA, I think. Yeah. And yeah. it is yeah. doing pretty good, so <laughs> amazing. And I love the way he used to skate, one of the most stylish skaters mm -hmm. Europe ever had. So. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> the top five skater. No, 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 no. I was talking about one of them. Oh yeah, you said uh, Billy. Billy. I just don't remember the rest. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, mean, mm. more. <laughs> what more? You were saying top three skaters. Yeah. Why was it Matthias Auger one of your? No, it's about. It's. It's not about doing the craziest tricks, it's about aesthetics. It's about aesthetics of motion. And again, like Matthias Auger, Chris Farmer and Jochen Smuda, in th that period of time, they had that very specific, very subtle quality in aesthetics of motion. Yeah. So. Yeah. Auger was one of my best friends back then when that happened exactly when that happened yeah, same. he was one of my best friends and I when I first became undercover brand manager whatever that was yeah. he was the first guy that I thought like this guy needs to be part of whatever I'm part of yeah. but it's just I just f felt so weird that he could never be part of like a bigger brand he, he ended up with Rollerblade, which he wasn't happy, I know. And we had this conversation before, and the last time I did this with Sorry, Tom Iser. Who are you talking about? Matthias Auger. Auger. Matthias Auger. Auger. And the last, the last time I made like a skate talk with, Mati with, with Tom Iser, he told me that it was hard for someone living in Australia to have the support, because in the exactly. mid-2000s, mid uh, late mid like 2008 2009 he moved to Australia yeah, yeah. I think that was it huh? almost yeah. 10 years ago huh? mm -hmm. exactly still and, there yeah still there and he's, he's beca he became a really good photographer yeah so it's kind of weird that guy just changed direction to drink water <laughs> <laughs> so auger I, I keep speaking with him. I know that he's in, in Europe right now. I wish I could see him next week because I'm I'm going to Berlin in a few days. Yeah, it's I just we Auger would be also a really good guy on free skates. He had so much control on skates. Mm -hmm. Basically, Matthias is visiting Germany once a year, and that's usually when Oktoberfest in Munich. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> but let me tell you something. This yeah. is this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is pretty bad. But the first time, as Auger, who was the first guy he ever drank something with? <laughs> yeah, no, but, but, but here's the thing is like he went from that guy <laughs> not drinking at all <laughs> to the like party animal. That was a really <laughs> bad influence. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but then, 
since he moved to Australia, he became like a different guy. Yeah, he did. So well, he became ma he became major because alcohol is more expensive there, maybe. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, it's he became major. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, I think like he moved there. Uh, is he still with the same girl? Yeah. Okay. I think his girlfriend's a German teacher actually yeah. in Australia. Okay. So he told me that he would he met this girl from Australia that came to Germany, and then he was like, "I'm gonna move." And I thought that's crazy. And you know what? A few years later, I did the same to, to <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> it's yeah, just I never know. Like, what man, what, what man. was the reason life for is, you to, Life is crazy. What was the reason for you to move to Africa? My wife. Your wife, okay. 2014? Sure, I didn't ask, ask you. Yeah, it's so okay. I don't to, even know. 2014, I went to Winter Clash. Before I, I went to Winter Clash, I was in South Africa. Yeah. So I went to this... I remember Nitro we had talk at that moment. I yeah. even like send you stuff from Seba to yeah. yeah, yeah. To go There was to a few a few months before, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to, to I went to South Africa for Nitro Circus. Yeah. To because I was working with this Angolan company, mm -hmm. and I went there to see the event to show them what the success a successful extreme sports event was. Nice. Because I was doing consultants for them. Yeah. So I went there just to show them the event, and I was with two older guys than me like a lot older than me and i really love south africa is in the moment that i landed in that place i loved it and at night we had like a pizza and they didn't want to go out and i was like man it looks such a cool place i asked the girl at the restaurant where can i go out where can i just go somewhere? and i never go out by myself never ever and i went yeah. out i went to the hotel i just put some clothes or whatever and i went out by myself and i met Janice and nice we met we went back whatever doesn't, doesn't matter what happened we didn't even know the name of each other I got back to no I flew to Amsterdam and when I flew to Amsterdam Adrian Ann was waiting for me at the airport and I was staying with him I went to Belgium and all that and I remember I was sitting at Adrian Ann's house and I got a message from Janice hey how are you doing I hope you had a good flight and all that I was like no way how oh, does she has my number so then <laughs> I reminded I was telling Min about it yesterday <laughs> so I wrote my phone number on her friend's arm just because I left the club with her and as a way to get in touch with her no 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 for them. for her friends to yeah. feel safe because I had no like like <laughs> no seriously I was like that, you That's, that was your picked up stuff no, no, for a girl <laughs> no seriously <laughs> yeah I bore yeah. your friends I just wrote my number no, on no, your no, house the no, no, it was, no it was just like I'm not if, gonna kill her if, no, if something happens <laughs> that's a good one no it's <laughs> like, it's like, it's like <laughs> check this if something if something happens this is me <laughs> yeah because I had nothing else yeah, yeah, so I wrote the number in the heart by the way for the record Finch doesn't need any recommendations on pickup lines. He, <laughs> he really doesn't. <laughs> so no, I got back to 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 <laughs> Holland. I got that message, and that was it. We started talking. A few months later, she was coming to Portugal, <laughs> and then a few months later, I went to South Africa. And then I just thought, you know what? Why am I getting stuck in the regular life of getting a job here and just staying here and not and not going for? what might be the change that I want in my life. Yeah. So I just give up everything that I was doing in Portugal and I moved to South Africa without having yeah. a, the, the smallest idea of what was going to happen <laughs> with me. Seriously, I had no idea. I gave up my job in Portugal yeah. and I moved to South Africa without knowing what was going to happen. <laughs> and you know what? It was the best thing that yeah. I've done in yeah. my life. Yeah, Not because I moved to South Africa, because yeah. I found, I no, found the person you, that I love yeah. to be with. Of and course. I was married before. I'm, I did, and yeah. I'm really good. I'm a really good friend with my ex-wife. Yeah, I'm yeah. a really good friend. We just didn't match. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to South Africa. At first, it was kind of weird to adapt, which is for me. It's there's some things which are still really, really weird, like when it comes to safety and all those things. And now with the baby, even more. Yeah. But the truth is, it completely changed my life. And if you ask me right now, would it change anything? No. I love everything. Like. I couldn't have done anything better with my life, mm -hmm. and I couldn't have met anyone better for my life than That's I met. Congratulations! So yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> really happy with what I got. Like now, having a baby with the, my favorite 
person ever. Yeah. It's just like a blast. So I yeah. can. Yeah, yes, it's just the. It's just like the you the know the dream. We do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone dreams, it doesn't matter whatever it is, <laughs> whatever it is. It just happened to me somehow in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. Yeah. So That's I good. Keep, I keep saying the same. If you love skating, keep doing it. Keep doing whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Whatever. If if you're doing something that you like, something that you really love, good things will happen to you. Yeah. If you follow exactly. your, if there's something that you really love, then just follow whatever your heart tells you to. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you don't like it's a it's a good lesson of life. I'm I'm not believing in anything but karma. It's something and, uh, Min, positive. Yesterday, when I was finishing a video with Min. Uh, like I was we were filming like just a little video that we put online yesterday and I said in the end something like just don't forget why we all started because it's fun and Min said it's love <laughs> it, it, it seems stupid <laughs> but the truth is whatever no one understands it and that's sometimes I don't know I don't know if this can be a tip for all the guys listening to this right now but if you have a girlfriend if you have a wife that when you tell her that you love skating she doesn't understand I'm sorry I don't want to be rude yeah, but probably <laughs> it's not the right person for you because you can change who you are because the person that is with you doesn't understand what you do and if she doesn't understand it, she doesn't want to be with you it's the truth okay of it's course. yeah because of, it's a part of you it's yeah that's it man if people don't accept you the way you are then what you gonna do you gonna change who you are no you won't you can't you'll be you won't be happy <laughs> and finch is just doing like an instagram story <laughs> Me <more> media <laughs> like so, I, never do I don't know where my beer is <laughs> it's mine <laughs> So, I don't know for how long we've been filming this, recording know, this. Like a, a lot, no? So, I think it's time to finish. I've been realizing that I can't do skate talks for more than 90 minutes because <laughs> then... No, true. Because there's this, no, there's this app called Anchor. Yeah. And I've been uploading the videos through Anchor. Yeah. So, like... When I put these videos on MP3 through Anchor, means that they're gonna be on iTunes Store, on iTunes Podcasts, on Apple Podcasts. Sure. So I don't want to. I don't want these podcasts. I don't want these skate talks to be longer than 90 minutes. So we're gonna finish it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so something else to add? Do you want to say anything else? Um. This uh, finish to listen to that and I hope it will help you to get motivation to go skating. Put your skates on, go in the streets, skate whatever you could skate. Like you don't need spots, you don't need nothing. And if it rains outside, got yourself a copy of uh, Honor World Games and play some video games. <laughs> And send me your cool, uh, your cool shit. Your cool play with Finch. Play choose, with, play choose. With me. Play with me. And uh, that sounds good. Not safe. Not safe for work. Yeah. Play with Finch. And do uh, all the tricks I could even do in real. <laughs> and send me your best screenshots. What's your best trick on on uh, on the roll? On the roll, uh, actually, like fun fact, I still never played myself. Like the two times I played was. Uh, uh, you never play with yourself. No, no. <laughs> I always play with myself, but. <laughs> no, me too. No, not through, uh, not through. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you mean with that? <laughs> no need to. <laughs> no need to. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Hashtag French models. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wait, what do we have to say about no, that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's time to finish this this thing right now. Yeah, thanks, Ricardo, for the, the second part, and um, and uh, see you guys very soon. <laughs> yeah. Mean. By the way, it's love. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's love. No, seriously, mean. What do you want to say? No, it's love. <laughs> no, seriously. No, that's that. I'm serious. Okay, so <laughs> before we finish this, today we went down a road for more than six times, uh, and I would go a lot more without the the police because this guy is addicted to just skating. So. I got to Barcelona. I'm staying with Min, this guy that I just told you that I met. I met him before, but I haven't seen him in a long time and out of nowhere. A few months ago, in February, I was in Barcelona. February, yeah? 
February. Yeah. And there's there this was this weird guy hugging you like crazy. Was, yeah, I was skating. <laughs> yeah. I, I was with Kenneth. I was skating outside and I met this guy. I don't know who this guy is, but he's just talking with me. A few days later, he talks to me saying like, I was, I was the guy that matched it and I didn't know it was mean. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't recognize him. And now I'm staying with him and like, seriously, at the moment he's one of my favorite guys to watch on skates yeah. and and then I was filming with him and I'm just like even more amazed <laughs> I know I know it's same for me man I, did, I didn't really uh, never met him before and then I met him recently when he first came back to Barcelona and then uh, yeah same yeah, we thing had an, we had, we had, we had, that, uh, we had that skate uh, session Holland. yeah in the like Gothico yeah exactly that was seriously one of the most fun days on reels ever skating really? with you oh, yeah it was <laughs> so <laughs> before i started this thing that's what i didn't told you in the beginning before i started this thing bean was just telling me we were going to meet finch and mitch was asking and mean was asking me did you ever skate with finch like i skated with finch like in a mini ramp or something like that I know how good he is but I never saw him really free skating mm -hmm. and me just told me like he's small but the most <laughs> powerful thing that you've ever seen on skates is just like he's is just like flying through through the surface every single push just makes him go so fast and he has more control than I've ever seen like he told me that you were top five oh from god. the people that thank he ever you. saw on skates oh my god thank you that's They're like the clips are awesome and stuff right but you gotta see it in person thank you guys you I gotta see it. Finch in person I feel I feel uh, goes back to that post <laughs> Jan Welsh did right <laughs> when he like did an homage to your skating Thank you. I no, appreciate it's, no, no, it's, appreciate it's not flattering. Guys, it's listen true. to that. When you come to Barcelona, send me a message. Let's fucking skate together. Okay, yeah. now we're gonna finish it. I saw many skate with Finch. I mean, I saw many bladders coming to Barcelona all the time, and they are skating by themselves. Send me a message, man. I will skate with you guys from wherever you're coming from and whatever type of skating you're doing. You're fucking down. Send me messages. I skate with you. I, what I don't get about Barcelona. I'm sorry, it's not finished yet. <laughs> What I don't get about Barcelona is let's catch yourself. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't understand this about Barcelona. These groups. What do you mean? You want to talk about it? I'll talk. I don't have any problem about it. So let's talk shit a little bit. No, it's not. It's not. It's <laughs> no, not talking joking. shit. Like man, I love like Mark Moreno used to be one of my best friends in skating. Yeah. Seriously, one of the the first guys that I've met. Like I know that since like five, seven years, he's on his own group and he doesn't skate with other people. Oh, and yeah. I'm not talking I think, shit. I don't think Mark is skating that much, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, don't, to be honest, it's like, just a random example yeah. of what, I'm, what he's trying no, to what say. I, is I think there, there is are those two, separated yeah, groups, yeah, yeah. and it's pretty oh, sad. It always used to happen everywhere. You know, it's in Paris, sad. as you said, Fabrice Guillon back then was like skating with the. The people from Crazy Roller, the, they were they had their group. The people from the suburb were skating from the with the people from the suburbs. You know, there there always used to be a groups. But I know, like, but I've people been, don't get I've been, together. I've been skating here for two years. I've been living here for two years, and the only few times I seen Mark was when like someone else came. You know. Uh, I haven't so I haven't skated much with like or unless there is a special occasion event or something they don't call you to skate or, that's true that's uh, which is a pity or even like new skater like Carlos Bernal which I really I will I wish I could skate with him or something but they are skating in their group you know and they but that's exactly really, what I'm saying man. I uh, love them all Seriously. I try I try to make for example like last year when I I, I make a Facebook group. And I had every single person I know. I even had the, the uh, Marcus girlfriend, you know, because uh, I don't know. I was trying to reach up any skater to do any kind of skating, roller skating, free skating, aggressive skating, whatever. I created this uh, Facebook group because, like every other groups that exist in Barcelona, is dead. Like there is one for slalom, Coneros. Uh, there is one for Barcelona. Uh, Uh, skating or whatever you know there is power blading uh, stuff and all of them are dead but we are in the, one of the biggest uh, skating city in the world and there is a lot of skater i can tell every day i'm going to a beach one question or anywhere there is a skater but all the groups are fucking dead 
And I tried to reach up all these skaters in the same place by a Facebook group, a Messenger chat, and it doesn't really work. Like the only that came was always that on the session was like a German uh, chick skater, um, like a Catalan old uh, aggressive skater, the only aggressive skate since like last five years or something, you know. But all the OGs and real aggressive skater never even like reply to that conversation, but they read it. No, but seriously, it's, it's not just it's love, it's one love. <laughs> and that's why I just don't get why there are those separate groups of that's people. <laughs> and they don't get together, I just don't get it, I'm sorry. That's why I was going to make you this question. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. <laughs> By the way, we're close to Makba. Makba, I was kind of like making fun of this place, but... Don't you think that we need a place like that for inline skaters? Because the truth is... Where people got together. Yeah, yeah. I believe that... We have that, one, I guess. Yeah, I believe that there's a million places... There's a million places where people skate, but there's not like a, a place for inline skating. Like in, in Paris, you used to have bur the Bursa ledges where everyone used to mm -hmm. be. It doesn't matter. It, you don't... It was probably before the cell phones. I don't even know. By the way, know. rest in peace, Bursi Letches. By the <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it was before this. I don't know. It wasn't before the cell phones, but it was before like all these social media hype. Oh, all yeah, these. Definitely. It was by the, by the MySpace time. Mm -hmm. And I remember. <laughs> it, it's MySpace time. And MySpace time, social media wasn't used the same way. No, no, the no. truth is... If you wanted to skate in... We had in Hotmail back then. Messenger. What? We had MSN. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Caramel. And, and ICQ. <laughs> yeah. ICQ. No, seriously, But I remember, like, first time, first year I arrived in Paris, my way to contact skater was um, MSN. No, yeah, but, but, yeah. but that's all. Caramel. <laughs> with, with Fabrice. <laughs> with Fabrice Guillon. Yeah. That, was the, the, that's the, that was the way that we used to contact and we used to talk every day. I used to talk with Mark Moreno every day on... No. on MSN no. and I used to come to Barcelona and be with them I used to uh, Fabrice we used to go to Ber to Portugal and stay with me so what I'm trying to say with this is it doesn't matter the way yeah, we, need we like used to contact it's just like we just get no. need to get together actually I can tell like by living here I can tell you like for example on Sunday I know like roller skater guy they are like dancing or doing like stuff in the W on the beach mm -hmm. so uh, if I just want to chill I go there by bike or by skate and I just go there to see if I can meet skater and just like do random skating or whatever you know like just uh, just hang out with skater you know so I pass by there if there is nobody I go to Marbella but then if hoping you, that there is aggressive but then skater. if you are on a bicycle what happens? what happens? I bike with them or I just hang out with them you know I just let the bike watch him skate I'm making fun uh, of you you of know course. <laughs> But no, no, seriously, like there is always like and Friday night, uh, Friday night uh, city skating. It's it's a good place to meet skater if you want to. If you come to, ever come to Barcelona, you want to see skater. And you even you want to see aggressive skater. Le, if you have luck, you can go to the Friday night city skate in the boutique land bar, and you will always find skater. I've been. I met. This. But there, it's it's a uh, it's really limited. Uh, uh, skating because it's like a wreck skating with a group and whatever but it's know. the best way to promote it's the best skating way, of course it's a amazing. few days ago yeah. i met i met this kid eric a friend of me mm -hmm. that is i don't know if he's from barcelona or not he is okay so er, uh, eric right eric yeah he's from this kid with like some seven skates with the k2 100 millimeter frames mm -hmm. it, you can see it cl clearly that he's super influenced by me the way that he tries to skate it's you can see it but yeah. he's passionate yeah uh, really yeah. and since that day that i saw him with Min, it was two days ago i've seen him every single day and he's always with the rest of the skating group what i'm trying to say is i keep seeing eric skating with the group of skaters which means there's a group of people going out every day and skating it's just weird i'm always seeing people on skates and a lot of times I see this would never happen in South Africa if I would ever see someone skating in South Africa I would stop yeah. I would talk to them and no. try to make a connection try to, we get this Thursday night thing that we get together mm -hmm. here maybe because there's a lot more and I'm not used oh, I to. always do man yeah like because when I see skater even if I have not skate 
if they don't recognize me for some reason or whatever, I still will try to connect with you them. You tell them to totally. download. They'll yeah, tell no, them to download on their own. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that crazy. No, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. Yeah, but I will. I will always like go to them and talk to them. I ask. Usually, I will come and just say, "Hey, what's up? Where are you from?" And if they don't like get that I'm a skater, I will but. just tell them. Just because, like, uh, yeah, it's uh, I don't know. It's like a family, you know. It's like me if I if I would go anywhere myself in any country, random places, uh, skating by myself, and I cross skaters that are not skating, I will be upset if they don't stop me telling me like, "Hey, I'm also a skater." Okay, why don't you go to your house now, pick up your skate, and make give me a tour of your city. That will be just the best thing to do, you know. But don't and you imagine think you're that, that person and then you see a skater coming to your city, like with the intention of like visiting it, shredding, and you're like you're just passing through and saying nothing. That would be, you you should be ashamed doing this. If you yeah. listen to me, guys, that's why <laughs> you should be I, ashamed. You I just always greet like any person on love. the wheels I'm passing. <laughs> Because yeah. it's love. But don't you think <laughs> yeah, that yes. sometimes? Like maybe I don't, don't, don't want to be a maybe, sexist. Maybe, maybe I don't want to be a sexist. Maybe you can make love with that. Yeah, I don't want to be a sexist if that's the right word. But what do you think a girl on inline skates would think if you stop to talk to her? If you stop her? No, to this talk is to this her? might be like a maybe stupid she, question, but like would, maybe she would like her. Well, no, no, what I'm trying to say like, like no. you <laughs> stop like you do it with a with a guy. Yeah, but if it's a girl, if you oh, stop, I do whatever. I do girls, boy. I do boy. Because <laughs> <laughs> my intention is just to skate. Come on. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> no, of course no, not. I mean, I mean, like, the, the, of course, like if you come creepy, like yeah, let's have a skating session. No, it's <laughs> a skating session. <laughs> But no, no, you're like whatever. Like the people is like young, old. Uh, fat, skinny, uh, black, uh, yellow, whatever, you know, like, <laughs> seriously, it's like, it's no matter of, like, uh, um, um, sex or anything, you know, it's just, like, scale, you know, yeah, you skate, scale. you want to skate, yeah, it's like, you, you don't give, like, any feminism or masculinism on that, you know, exactly. it's like, it's everyone, you're a skater, exactly, yeah, what I'm trying to say here, I, I totally get it, the, the thing is, Is that happen? It's, it's not that happened. But to I know me. what you mean. In like, general, so, so like, like recent, mean, recently, I, I crossed a girl on skate. She was on on CJ skate, so I was like, oh, cool. Like, she's, I don't know her, so I can. But I wasn't on skate, so it's kind of creepy because I came to her and I was like, hey, nice skate. And she looked at me like, what the fuck he wants? And then I, I had to explain. Boy, no, no. What did I, you so want? I just, I just well, explained her. Like, he's the guy who designed that skate, by the way. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. So I told her I was like, yeah, I made those skates. So she was like, oh no way. I was like, and then she was like, oh yeah, you're the guy from Seba. Sorry, you had no skates on. So I was like, it's just another guy trying to, 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 uh, to hook up with yeah, me. Yeah, to hook up with me. So I was like, okay. So, uh, <laughs> now, Wait, so I was you, like, no, no, now you know me. Can I hook up with you? <laughs> no, did you? Did you, was, you was she cute? <laughs> She was cute, yeah. Okay. So you got her contact. <laughs> All this culture. Yeah, do you have your phone number? <laughs> yeah, I got her. I got her Instagram. <laughs> so guys, make skates. Draw skates. You never know what's going on. Make skates <laughs> and make love. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me. <laughs> Nothing to do with that. Did you really make the skate from the from scratch? Or was of the, course. Oh no! How was the whole thing? The, 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 the CJ skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, yeah. What was in? What was his input on the skate? Uh, the many idea came from many different types of skating. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But that what's what was CJ? The input? base was like uh, came from the Igor skate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we already had the knowledge of uh, making a carbon boot. And then the idea was to make like a top quality aggressive skate. So we used like the best material we already had. We used the the the, the manufacturer uh, <clears throat> the the way of like manufacturing uh, a skate boot, uh, carbon skate boot. And then we picked up idea to make the boot stronger. So like for example the 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 shape on the back of the the CJ. Which is like curvy, mm -hmm. you know. I know. It's it's actually like people maybe might don't know, but it's a rolled a rolled carbon layer inside. There is four layer of carbons inside that makes like a, a thin rock, 
inside. So it's not only looking, that uh, came from speed for, skating. For strength. Yeah, yeah for it's, strength. It's not for looks, it's for no. stability. No, 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 yeah, it's for uh, durability, uh, uh, stability, and strong, make them like stronger. Because we were like really scared that uh, the, the carbon boot would break. So we picked up that idea that came from uh, speed skate. From Was the, that a separate speed skate? No, bone. Okay. Bone skate. So let me ask a good question. Do you think... Yeah. I know that CJ is amazing, but do you... And I love CJ, like mm -hmm. seriously. As a, as a, a skater and as a, as a friend, whatever. The thing is, do you think the CJ and... Um, what's the name of the Essex? Yeah. The, the yeah. skate. Yeah. Do you think the skate would be selling the same way if it wasn't from for Leon and mushroom blading? I How much does the, does it influence the the, no, the way? No, no, I we, we think like, so uh, it because came, it, came, it is it that came good. After, yeah, yeah. No, it came after. Yeah, it came after because they starting to skate those because they were good skates. I know, you know, but what I'm trying to say with this is yeah. after I know. No, we we but made like they started, I'm on, sure the most the of the people. Sale, we made like a really good sale on the on the first one. Oh, what? So he helps. Uh, no, it was like selling by themselves at first. Uh, very good, yeah, on the first sale. And for the for the record, yeah. if people are interested into that, uh, uh, the, the the we we get into the final boot pretty easy. Like we didn't make like a, a lot of sample to like the first boot that comes out we already had like the first sample we tried was already pretty good the boot so it was just matter of design and looking and because the first boot was like the shell of the carbon and the, the cuff that came from the FR which is the same was like working perfectly already mm. the only thing that uh, that we had to come through was like design so we had like few sample until to the arrive first to the final version, one. The first version yeah. referring to is the one CJ had on that winter clash. Yeah, with dates yeah. on and stuff. And exactly. How did, how did you? That was uh, the second one actually. One one yeah. before when we get to New York and Los Angeles trip once before. How did you? And do? The, like the most complicated thing is t uh, when I, I made myself the frame and the sole plate, because like this is the tough things to do because when you work with a factory that never been doing uh, aggressive product they don't fucking know what it is what what matter of making a nice groove and a nice uh, link between the frame and the sole plate and me i was obsessed with the back rail and the front torque you know for me it it, it wasn't possible to let uh, to let it be shitty you know it it, it was for me, it was really important that the back royale will be the perfect ever, you know, and CJ too. That's you know? why you wrote for them, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, man, you always learn from your mistake, you know. You always learn from your mistake and your experience. So, Go from on. that said, <laughs> I spent like so much time and we made so much sample. We like sent back and forth to the factory to make like a final one. And we are like, we were like at the end we were like talking about millimeter, like uh, uh, even less than yeah. millimeter to be <laughs> nanometers. Perfect. Yeah, it, yeah, it does matter. No, no, it, it does matter. Yeah. It, it fucking does matter. And the the proudest thing I am and the, the thing I'm most proud of on that skate is the 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 yeah the the maneuverability, you know, and the the, the how did you deal? And it was tough because like you have to make. The same thing for the the three sizes. So yeah, plates. I know what that is. That was tough. Yeah. So, but the soap plates only come in three sizes. Yeah. Okay. Which is which is fair because yeah. like the yeah, I know with with, sizes, with, the, with the roller skates now we yeah. have to do the same. Mm -hmm. I, and I was in the roller skate yeah. thing. I hope the industry will be bigger and we could sell more skates and of course we can make more sizes. Maybe even make like one size each for each size. Yeah. Which which we already do for the boot. You know, yeah. we make. We like had this sizes. conversation before. Yeah. The thing is, for everyone that doesn't mm -hmm. know, every time that you make a different size on a sole plate or something like that it's a huge investment to yeah, make like a mold, mold is, yeah. and all that it's like a when i mean a huge investment is like and time. sometimes sometimes 20, no sometimes the product never pays the investment on the mold of course yeah sometimes it doesn't yeah. but the question that i want to do it to you is how did you deal with people saying which i know it's not but how did you deal with 
people saying that was a copy of other skate. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened. Well, at first, uh, when when he came out the skate, and, you know, like if you listen to people, you, you you start to get crazy, you know. And I heard so many. You can always hear like crazy shit. So I think now I don't I don't I don't care anymore because. Uh, with time, people realize the truth and stuff like that. And we didn't try to copy anyone, or I didn't get even like I didn't even get influence from anyone else. We were trying to do our thing, and what I tried to do with Seba is bringing my knowledge on aggressive. No, influence you always get. You just told me that you got yeah. some bond. Yeah. Influence, there's always something coming yeah, yeah. from somewhere. But because because I try to, it's like on video when I make video, I don't get influenced by the the the. the, the I most of the time, if I do a skate video, for example, I will try to pick up my influence for something totally different. You know, Which I wouldn't normal. watch skating video to make a skating video. So that's a good tips in life. You know, if you want to get inspiration to do something, don't watch the other same stuff you know don't get inspired by a skating video to make a skating video don't try to be like Sean yeah. and Colin Kelso <laughs> they have their own mean? style and yeah. it's amazing but it's their own yeah, thing yeah you can you can say like uh, I don't know the uh, Dom West for example is have a total different type of, uh, yeah. of uh, film. it's amazing and to me it's like I'm pretty sure Dom doesn't get his uh, his um, is influenced from scanning video. No, I'm pretty it's like sure it's like super influence. cinematic. Whoa. Exactly. So it's, it must be like me and a million other filmmakers that get inspired from something totally different, you know? Which is normal. And then, and then it's always amazing by people that comes to you and be like, yeah, I want to be a filmmaker too. I like your video. Uh, I, what was the lens? What blah, 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 blah. And I try to tell them like, man, don't get inspired by what I'm doing. Do something better. Get some inspiration by something else. Watch something that is amazing to you and trying to reproduce it, even and especially if it's not scaling. That's what I always did in the past, and that's what I will always do in the future. Get inspired by by something totally random. But that's the same with scaling. Exactly. Why do people need to that's copy? Why, like, why do I need to copy your trick? Yeah, or why do I need exactly, to mean yeah. trick? That's why. For me, it's like you need to be more open than just being like inline scaler. You need to be. You need to try everything. You need to maybe do uh, bike, BMX to get inspired to do more tricks on inline. You know, for, that's for sure, yeah. man. Some of, like the reason why I started riding a bike. You'll be a you'll no. be an amazing skater, more complete skater if you try something. You else. look at spots differently. Yeah, the exactly. reason why I started riding a bike, mm. at first I just because I needed to move. That's basic. Yeah. But when I started doing tricks. The thing was, I have bigger wheels. I'll be able to use spot the spots that I was never used, that I could never use on skates. Yeah. And now that I'm able to use bigger wheels, all I can think is, that's cool. So mm. now the spots that I use on the bike, yeah. I can make most of them or a lot of them. I can go on skates and actually enjoy. So today, I, I told me more than probably more than three or four times. Now imagine this on 60 millimeters. <laughs> and 60, I told him this once, 60 is already a big wheel because I, I had a pro wheel for undercover and it was a 54. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and that was it. And like, I'm laughing about it now, but that was it. And I had, I had two editions. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that means that I, I really like that size wheel. <laughs> And now I just can't oh, yeah. imagine riding a 54, man. It's, man, I, I did that because I was broke back then. <laughs> no, and my wheels was, was yeah. small. Because 50, no, 54 used to be two, easier yeah. for top sides and yeah. stuff. Sass lights. Yeah, Sass lights, because the frame touches. But nowadays, that's how, th that's how things change. Yeah. So, anyway, we're gonna finish this. Yeah. And we're gonna. <laughs> no, 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 we're not gonna finish this. We're gonna finish this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, so we're gonna finish this. Oh, shit. I hope you guys yeah, enjoyed this one. If you did enjoy this one, this skate talk. Don't comment below. <laughs> comment below if you enjoy it. Don't comment below if you didn't. <laughs> no, no, if you really liked it, give me some thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry that I. I I was speaking sometimes over what they were saying, but that's me. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so if, but but if you don't like it, just give me some thumbs down and let me know what no, you didn't like. Don't do that. Do, give some thumbs up to get better and <laughs> and explain why and how it should get better. And that's it. Finch. And that's it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Finch, and thank you everyone for oh, listening bring, to this. Bring the positive. Keep being positive, guy. Positive thing will happen if you be positive, and nothing will will be uh, will be good if you keep being negative. So be open mind and be a good human being be nice yeah <laughs> and go back to the 90s and watch that soul scatter movie <laughs> it's really good <laughs> thank you Min thank you Finch thank you everyone for listening to this until now and if you did like this one don't forget to subscribe to the channel by the way Finch has a YouTube channel that oh. is is super awesome he hasn't like every single video that he put in there it's like amazing <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't really put much. Yeah. No, the same effort that he does to his videos when he works with Red Bull and the videos for Seba and all that stuff. But it's a different style of video. It's a YouTube video that the, the, the goal is to keep you entertained. So if you're not subscribing to Finch channel, look for Anthony, fin Anthony Finocharo. Is that it? Yeah. And just go on it and just look at the videos that he's done. And probably, if Thank you, you subscribe to his stuff, you might get him inspired to do this more often. Yeah, so. I want to come back on YouTube, but I need a, I need a kick ass. So if you guys want to kick my ass and want to see me doing vlogs and and stuff like that, oh. skating stuff, just uh, just send me uh, send me messages, bombard my my uh, my DM me. It's it it really makes sense because the thing is, he travels a lot. He is like he's super good on skates. He has like his personality is, is amazing it just makes sense and the thing is the more people we have doing this the better Maybe. it is for skating so the more people will know about skating he has a completely different style from mine and we need this we need different people doing these things for more kids to know about skating I don't seriously if you're older than I am or if you're my age sorry that I'm saying this but what we need is kids so we need more guys like Finch we need more guys like Min we need more guys like me it doesn't matter we need more people skating and being proud of whatever they do for we skating to blood. go we need new blood we are too old for that yeah. <laughs> no, we, we with our experience we yeah. can help this help. but we need more kids yeah. so we need positive vibes we need people to be proud of whatever they do if, if you don't like skating I'm sorry, and I'm going to finish this video with fuck you. <laughs> so, hope you enjoy this one. See you soon. And I will add one soon. Like, by extension, not only do we need kits, we also need practicing making kits. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hope you guys enjoy this one. And don't forget why we all started, because it's fun. Cheers, guys. See you soon. <laughs>